Okay, I think this is about the longest I've ever searched for a grave. I don't really know why. No particular reason. But uh, if you're Googling, this is a tent girl in Georgetown, Kentucky. And what a fascinating story. Just look around YouTube, just look around Google. But uh, when I do these videos, I don't really think that it's uh, like my job to you probably already know the story. I'm here to help you find these graves. <clears throat> so, in general, if you come in the entrance, if that was a clock, this would be at uh, 11 o'clock. It's all the way in the back here, there's like a baseball diamond. Look at that red building. Look over there, look at that tree. And I could not find that to save me. But, got it. Section, oh, I don't know, G it looks like maybe. Does not look off the road. And watch the report on this guy that managed to find her body and identify it all just basically. Expression that sometimes uh, God speaks with a whisper, not a shout. And uh, it's just an amazing story. Uh, there are, f I think, three or four U.S. congressmen in this uh, cemetery as well. If you want to look those up, I very rarely look up politicians. It's always little obscure stories or famous people or inventors, things like that. Baby land section of the cemetery. Uh, it's a nice little cemetery. Looks like it has plenty of history in it. I saw a grave with the guy's name Drago. Drago. I must break you. Alright? And again, you can see coming up on the entrance. Just at that entrance. Every day creates one more day of history. There's history all around us. You just gotta look.